Welcome back everybody to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're gonna get going on our iron. At least that's the plan. I don't think we'll be doing any more exploration, but who knows, man. <laughs> uh, but we do have some more uh, MAM stuff to do first, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, so this is good. This gives us the cast screw um, uh, and also gives us the bolted frame. I think if we take this now, it's going to make our screw production a lot simpler because it's going to essentially eliminate the having to have rods. So I think this is going to be the most beneficial to us right now. Um, so let's choose that. Okay, that was good. Actually, that's probably the best one we could have gotten. As a matter of fact, considering we're getting ready to set up our uh, um, our iron production. Okay, now I went out and gathered another big old batch of biofuel. And while I was out and about, uh, we got some more slug... Uh, research to do too, but I got some uh, my mycelia. Um, if you guys remember in the last episode, I, we saw those blue, those big blue mushrooms, and I was I couldn't pick them. But you can't. What you have to do is you have to actually harvest them with the chainsaw. Um, so we need some of this, and I don't think we need anything else from here. And I've set out some more of the uh, personal storage boxes. Oddly enough, these have one more storage space in them than you know than the big factory storage boxes. So I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a couple big. Uh, factory storage boxes here. So I got those out of the way, kind of neaten things up a little bit. And this one's cut, it is holding our extra um, ores. So I went and got some more sulfur, and we might need some coal. I'm not sure what else we might need from that. So, okay, let's go over to the ma'am here. Thank you, ma'am. And we want to, I think. Oh, we're going to need, okay, so we're going to need a hundred frames and five alien parts to make this inhaler. This is like a, our, our bet, I think that's the best healing option in the game. Um, so we can't really do much with that. Caterium, uh, we got to make uh, plates and the ingots to advance this. So that, I mean, I could do that manually, but let's just hold off on that a little bit more. This is actually what I wanted to research here. So let's get the mycelia researched, okay? And then that opens up fabric, which requires uh, 100 biomass. I don't think I have any actual biomass itself. I mean, other than these little pieces here. How much does this have in it? Oh, yeah, we got we got 100 biomass in there. Cool, okay. So let's get that researched. Very good. And I believe we yeah, I was going to I was just going to say I believe we make parachutes with that. Okay, what's this? This is medical properties. Um, we should have all of that stuff. Let's grab these and these. And I have some bake. This is kind of my just temporary drop-off chest. Oh, where is my bacon? Oops. Should have. Oh, there it is. It's in my in my hand slot. Okay. So now let's see if we can do that. Okay, so that's only a three second research, or yeah, three second research. And then that opens up, oh, another way, I guess another way to get the medicinal inhaler. So there's two different ways to get it. So we just need some rotors and plates for that. Okay, um, and it only takes three minutes too, which or three seconds, which is great. Okay, nutrients, we can't do anything with that. Quartz, we have to make the stuff there. Oh, I do have the sulfur now, so let's do the black powder research. Very good. And then that opens up volatile applications, but we'll have to make 50 black powder for that. Um, uh, so alien organisms, I think we're at a standstill on that one for the moment as well. Yeah, those are going to require rotors. Expanded tool belt, we could do this one. 
uh, but it's going to take five minutes, so let's hold off on that. Okay, so I think let's go to power slugs now. So we're going to, why can't I, oh, because I need that, the reinforced plates, that's right. Oh, man, do I want to make those now? Nah, let's, let's hold off. We, we don't absolutely need to do any of that right now. Okay, so we made a little more progress on uh, that front, so let's store all of this in here, except for we'll keep the bacon with us and put it back in our hand slot. And let's grab our usual stuff out of here. Uh, let's see, take all, so we can start doing some building. Now, uh, we have in the awesome sink nine coupons and almost ready for ten. I, I got everything else down from uh, below, added some more chests here, and this is pretty much just our overflow that's get, uh, getting fed into the awesome sink. Okay, so um, it was very good, again, that we got that screw recipe uh, because now we can set up uh, screws straight from ingots and we don't have to put rods in between uh, so that's going to make this setup much easier to do. So let's go ahead and grab this guy, and we're going to put the output over there, make sure it's lined up. And I want to look and see if we go to alternate cast screws. Yeah, it just takes iron ingot, and it'll produce 50 per minute. Oh, man, I'm so glad we found that recipe. So, yeah, this is really just going to be another setup exactly like... Uh, what we have here so let's get that put together real quick okay so just so you guys know what I was going to have to do to use the traditional screw recipe if we look at that for just a second uh, it takes 10 rods per minute okay um, and the rod recipe outputs 15 rods per minute so what I was gonna do is set up two extra rod constructors to output a total of 30 and then three screw constructors to handle 30 because because so, you know three times 10 is 30 right um but now i don't have to do that because we found the alternate recipe and we uh just need to feed in uh, ingots so it's so it's really saving us a lot of extra crap that we would have to set up to get that all working so very very thrilled that we found that uh, and it just goes to show why those alternate recipes are so useful if you can come across them. Okay, cool. So we got that part set up. Uh, now what we need to do is we have to get our input set up. So let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go up to thingamadoodles there. Turn that around this way. And then we need uh, just another splitter. We'll line it up here. That lined up. Yeah, right there. Go up three. And then the fourth one we want to make sure that the input is on that side and then we're just going to run uh, conveyor belts across here it looks like i already got that one set up beautiful all right let's just double check these so this is doing iron plating this is doing rods this is doing screws uh cast screws specifically and 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 these this little first part of the factory here that's all it's going to do it's just going to create those three basic components for us and store them in the bin, and then when we need them, we can grab them. Over here, we're going to set up uh, parts assembly, uh, which is, of course, going to be more elaborate. All right, now, the next thing we need to do is figure out um, how we're going to bring in our ore. Now, we have the ability to... Let's look at a couple of things here. We've got architecture we got the rails which we actually need to put some of those up walls foundations organization logistics so we learned the conveyor wall mount and the conveyor lift floor hole um i'm assuming if we put this in the middle we're not going to put it here because this is our roadway of course but just to see how this would actually potentially work um what if we put it right here does that actually create a hole? Okay, not visibly, but it's one that we can connect a conveyor to. So I'm assuming then, I've never used these before, so I'm assuming, oh, okay, that's what we do. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we just bring this up to here. Not sure how high it needs to be to match. 
Uh, it's showing. Okay, one, two. That looks right, but can't say for sure until we. Yeah, I think. I think that's level. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do this. Bring this over to here. Um, it's not gonna let me. Let's go back to. Okay, so it's since it's saying conveyor belt's too steep, what, steep. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel that. We're just gonna put this here and raise it up to here, and then run this to here. Whoop, and then run that into there with a nice ninety. Oh, it's yeah. It's 90, and then we just get rid of this. So if, if you're... Um, oh, no, wait a minute. No, that is too low, isn't it? Yep, that is too low. Okay, we have to raise this up to the third notch. Um, but if you're... You know, you can use those little pulls there as long as it's not too high. If it's too high in the air, then what you have to do is you have to um, use the stackable conveyors. All right, let's bring that back up there temporarily. Uh, nope. We need to make it higher. Okay, it was right here. There we go. All right, um, and then we're going to reset this guy. Turn it this way again. Okay, so we want it to be, I think, to there. Yeah, there we go. Well, that looks good. I love this, man. This is really cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so that puts that up through the floor there. Yeah, really neat. Okay, now what we're going to do, of course, is go down below and figure out how we're going to hook everything up down below. Um, You know what, though? Before we do that, why don't we get our power situation taken care of? We have the new uh, little wall socket things. I don't know. Can you use those on the floor? Let's take a look at that. Power. Um, double wall outlet. Power pole attached to the wall. Has one connector on each side of the wall. Oh, that's cool. Oh. All right. I don't think that is going to work, though. Yeah, see, this only works on walls. It doesn't work on floors. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't work on floors. So for up here, I think we're just going to c continue using our good old power poles. Um, so let's run a power line from there to... Oh, you guys are going this way, aren't you? Okay. And where's your power connector? Okay, what we could actually do with this one is... Um, I guess we're putting those out on the seams. That's okay. We can do that. All right. Now, let's link these up. And then link these to there. There we go. And that's all we got of power over here. We don't have any anything else that needs power. Super cool. And we just connect an elevator from there. That is really neat. Okay, so can we plop a merger on there? Oh, that's cool. Um, all right, so actually, though, you know what? We don't want to do that. We're gonna have to put. We're gonna have to put another um, elevator on here first. Okay, so. Um, let me think about this for a second. So, I'm gonna hook all four. Of our iron um, miners up, right now, just so they're they're hooked up. But I'm not going to have them all turned on. I'm only gonna turn on the ones we need for the time being. So we're gonna run a line from there. 
a line's going to come from here, and a line's going to come from there. And these two, we might be able to also figure out a way to merge them. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to accomplish this. We can handle the three, so we're going to have to put another merger on at some point. Well, all right. Let me, let's put this one in here. And I see no reason not to just keep it all the way up to the top of the, underneath the roof. Get it up high, get it out of the way. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put a merger here. Right, okay. That works. Okay, now we're going to... That's So that's not going to go in there straight on. And then, you know, that's kind of the thing about using the, the miners is they place wherever the ore happens to be so they're the, they're the one things you can't really line up perfectly so let's go ahead and put this mark one belt in here we'll take it all the way up to the roof and it's actually clipping in the roof so it's higher than this so let's redo it so it's not clipping in the roof Okay, so that one, that's pretty close. It's probably not perfect, but it's pretty close. Let's just run a belt really quick and see what it looks like from a level perspective. All right, that's not bad, uh, le level-wise. I don't know if there would be an eloquent way we could hook that up so that it's straight with a right angle. Keep it in here up against there like so that's as close as I think we're gonna be able to get it um is that where we had it before <laughs> I don't know I don't know um, okay so let's put this in again Make sure it's going that way oh I know what's going on here oh it's the merger that's pushing it over right okay okay so yeah, let's let's go with our first thing. Let's put it right here. Is that going to be far enough? Well, if it isn't, we'll adjust. And we want to hold it all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, good. Now, we can put that on. Very good. That looks pretty lined up to me. I mean, as close as it's going to get lined up, right? All right, so let's bring this into here. Let's bring this into here. Look at that, you guys. That looks great. It's off by just a little bit, but not enough to worry about. Especially, again, like I said earlier, you'd have to really be looking hard to notice that it's not quite right. That looks really good. Oh, man, I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Okay, now, to get this guy hooked up, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put another merger in line and probably uh, just, if we just grab this merger here and put it right in the center, which I think that's pretty close, that should work. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a conveyor belt and hook that up and bring it way over here. As far as it'll go, um, my alignment's a little, a little weird though. It's probably because we're. Let's get rid of that. Maybe a little too far away. Yeah, see, it wants to align to 
the wrong thing. So we're going to have to probably eyeball this one. All right, so let's bring it, let's say about halfway, make sure we're looking directly west in our compass. And that's probably about as straight as we can get it. Okay. Now, we're just going to do that temporarily. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys and line them up like so. And build them up to the roof. It looks like it's about right. Okay, let's get rid of this. And run a line to there. Uh, we need to go up to the to the next one. Okay, that's a little high, but I think that's the best we're going to be able to do. It's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay. Now, um, let's put a an elevator in here. Run it all the way up to the ceiling, but then down so it's not clipping. And then what we're going to do is bring this over here till it lines up like so. And then we're going to just have to eyeball this one. So we're going to go back to about, I'm guessing, here. And then we're going to put... I guess we could have just done it directly with this guy. Okay, I think that's straight there. All right. um, oh, nope, it's not. I turned it at an angle. Damn it, Jim. All right, so let's just... Here. Redo. There, now it's straight. Okay, this will actually line up uh, for us, so we don't need to run that other conveyor belt first. Go here, over this way, just a bump there. That's pretty close. Okay. So now we're going to just go back to I'm guessing here we'll just say you know I'm looking at the purple flowers kind of as a mark a mark so we're right at the front of the purple flowers okay let's build this up okay that's clipping in the roof so that should be right is that going too high It is, but it's also going to be the height of this one. So, yeah, I think I think that's good. Now, I'm going to leave the center one there just because in you know, in a real situation, they're I feel like there should be a support on a line that long. Do it to be realistic kind of thing. So let's just do it for funsies. Uh, looks like we need one more. There we go. That feels more realistic. Okay. So we got that done. Now, uh, so for power, I'm not so sure I want to actually keep using this. I am going to keep it there, though. But I just want to see if there's a little bit neater way we can do the power down here. So we've got this pull here. If we just hook power to this guy, it's going to be going... Is it going through the ramp or is it going over the ramp?
if we walk underneath that, is it going to cl clear our head? Or is our head going to clear it? Uh, yeah, I think I can, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. What about going, uh, well, we, we only have one more connection there. So this one, we could try and connect from up here, maybe. So it's just, it's really close to the middle of this tile here. What if we did that? No, I don't like it going. It's going to go right down in through the middle of the road there. So that's not going to work. Oh, no, no. Don't take that off. Take this off. So we got to get power over to this guy too. Oh, actually, that's an easy one. There. Okay, so that gets that one powered up. Well, okay, I think the easiest thing to do for the time being is just do this. And I might give this a think off camera later and see if I can figure out a, a little better way, a more satisfactory way to connect that. But for now, uh, this will that will work. These power connections worked out pretty good, though. All right. Okay, so um, all of our miners are going to be doing 120 ore per minute, which is way more than we currently need. Um, in fact, we really only need one of these guys running right at the moment. So I think I'm going to turn these two off. Let's just turn them off, power them all the way down, and we're just going to run off of this one miner for now until our demand increases, and then from there we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's go back up. Um, I I did the same damn thing again, didn't I? Oh look, that actually worked. <laughs> uh, I forgot to set up the refiners. Damn it, Jim. Okay, yeah, we got to do the refiners. Okay, let's get. We're gonna have to take all of this stuff back down um, because it now it's now full of ore. Well, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. I forgot the stupid refiners. Rather than pull all of that down, let's just let it run all the way out this way. Okay, that's it. All right, that's still... This needs... This is like two. Okay, we need to bring this up higher. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. Um, oh shit, I keep forgetting about the mergers though too. So that's still not right. Uh, crap, okay. Oh, actually I know how we can fix this or make that work. So we want a actually a splitter, not a merger. So let's go here uh, with the splitter input on that side. Make sure it's lined up with both of those, which I think it is. Yeah, I think that's where we want it. Two, three, four. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we might have to do that. And do this. Alright, now we know what we're doing. 
Now we know what we're doing. So let's grab another one of these, and we'll just put them right next to each other. Like that. One, two. Grab one of these. Actually, we don't even need that. Let's just, we should be able to just, eh, except for that it's not at a right angle. So let's do this. Back to. Okay, cancel this. Get one of these. Raise it up. There you go. Beautiful. And we can remove this. Okay, so that takes care of our input. You know, um, hmm. I wonder if instead I could move these up here because we got all of this space here that we're not utilizing. The nice thing about the refiners, too, is they're pretty... They're not very big. Yeah, let me... Let me, um... Let me give this a think, and then I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back in. I got this all set up. So, basically, this is our conveyor coming up out of the floor here. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going into a splitter. Uh, then down into the first smelter here, which is set to smelt iron. Um, and then it splits off and feeds down into the second splitter, or, or I'm sorry, smelter, uh, also doing iron, as you can see, and they're all nice and lined up with one another. And then both of those have, uh, up from their output, this elevator that comes up on both sides goes into this merger and then feeds back around into our, uh, the ingots, rather, into our constructors over here. So pretty, pretty basic setup. Um... And yeah, so I think we're really good to go here with our our core iron production pieces. So uh, in the next episode, the plan is going to be that we will get started with uh, assembly. Uh, so we're going to set up a, a reinforced iron assembly plant. Um, and then we also need to get rotors going and the uh, bracing uh, bracing frame thing with doodles too. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share with the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.